Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Stam... Uh, uh, what is this? City Skylines 2! Yeah, I don't know how I messed that up, but anyway, we're gonna play this, and we're back in Stamford Island. Today, we are going to be working on... We're gonna add more residential in here, just a quick subdivision, and then we're going to hopefully pretty soon reach the next milestone. No, we've got a ways to go. So... We, and uh, we need more tiles, that's the thing. Like, I want to get to Metropolis so we get 32 more tiles because I've decided I want to build another city over here. The map goes all the way out to here, so we have a lot of space to get another major city here. And we'll get that built with this core here, or with the, um, we'll get a, a city core in here, I think. Yeah, it's flat enough that we can build with that. I think I might even flatten it out a bit, but we're definitely going to get a city out there, but we need more tiles first. So what we're going to do is a few things. Once again, first of all, we're going to build in here, but before we do that, be sure to check out Instant Gaming. There's a link down below. It will take you to get some great discounts on games, including City Skylines 2 or City Skylines 1 is a great deal there as well, so be sure to check that out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just get a bunch of roads in here off camera, and I will be right back. All right, that's some roads, and now what I want to check is where our school is. It's way over here. It has plenty of capacity, so we're going to keep that elementary school. It's not going to be walking distance for the people who live out here, but that's okay. We are going to extend this district out like this, so that now... This is all part of Bayview Village. Yeah, and then we've got Port Bayview out there. I like that. In fact, I want to make sure... Yep, that is all in there. I'm happy with that. I think that will all be Bayview. So let's go ahead and get some low-density residential in here. And I'm just going to pretty much blanket do this. At least out like that going to pause for a moment though because I do want to come in here and we're going to get a little bit of low density commercial in here just along there and then we'll get residential in the rest of this way okay and then of course we need to get some parts in we'll go ahead with a small park in here and a small playground let's say over here and another one over here and maybe over here. Just simple little things in there, which will really make a big difference there. And we'll let that fill in, and then we'll double check unemployment again. Okay, so unemployment is still at about 7.7%. Not a huge dent to it, which is what you would expect with a low density uh, development like that. But we do have a lot of high rent, so we really need to get more low density out. The problem is, I mean, we've got... This is our main forestry area, and it's such a dense forest that I really don't want to break into that. So what we could do is we could see, like, another town develop maybe out here, or, like, a, another little shopping center or something out in here, which would get low density around it. I think we will do that. And I'm trying to decide, should we get an interchange here or not? I'd really rather have it be out here. I mean, then we're pretty much far enough away from there. But then we'd need to have a bigger road, and we'd probably need to buy some more tiles here. Which we can do. We can get these three that isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, and now let's check terrain. We've got a little bit of a hill there. We've got... Oh yeah, this was... I was hoping to get some oil in there. Because we've got some good... Yeah, we've got stuff in there that we could get an oil thing in there. We've got a rail terminal there already, so that could work. And then we could get some residential over here. Not, a, I mean, and then we could fill that too. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get an arterial here. We'll go ahead and make this into a four-lane road. Like that, and then we're going to come up and over the highway. And get an interchange in here. Hopefully 8.75 can do it. That is a pretty steep slope already. We're going to take this out and that out, and we're going to bring this down. Actually, let's go ahead and get this across. Like that, that will work. 
and then we'll bring this down. Get that to be at about 10%. Same thing over here. Bring it down to about 10%. Doesn't have to go as far because we've got a hill over here. That'll work. Yeah, I think that will be fine. We'll get just a really simple diamond interchange in here. Okay, now what we could do is we could put roundabouts here too, just to make it flow a little bit better. It's not a super dog uh, bone interchange like I've done elsewhere, but uh, I think it works. You know, pretty basic. I, I like how fast things come together. That's the key is for me, like how easily these can come together and look pretty good. You know, they're not perfect, but they are pretty good. And that's the thing, like this game, they do pretty good. Things come together really quickly and really well. And it's once we have mods, everything will be uh, incredible. I am confident about that. But anyway, this road is going to come along like this. And then that is the frontage road, which is going to be really good because then the other thing is I want to come over this way. We're going to go ahead and see. Do we have a kilometer to go this way? No, we're not going to quite make it to a kilometer. So we can't quite get our roads in over that way but what we can do is we can get a little bit of a commercial center here centered on this interchange and then we can get a lot of other stuff around here so we're going to go ahead and i'm just going to put in low density commercial right away like that and oh we got a food station let's see what that is a commercial signature building food station that right there so it's like a strip mall type thing that is a restaurant perhaps your ad here nobody's moved in yet so nobody so it's all your ad here right now but okay anyway we'll let that be there we'll have that fill in and what i want to do now is just kind of build something around here because that is going to be gonna get oil down in there because yeah pretty much just down in the hill so what we'll do is we'll bring a road along here and we need a curvy road this is a pretty major contour line too I bet that's sea level yeah so I'm it would be a little tempting to build a uh, like get a lake in there but I don't think I will to get a lake, we'd have to build a, a canal through here because that's just the way things go right now. But that will work like that. And then we have space again here and here to get more residential. So I'll go ahead and get one in here. Although I'll just go ahead and name or get a, a district in here. And if you have a name suggestion, then let me know in the comments below what you think this area should be called. We're going to get, like I said, a an oil thing in there. We're gonna go all the way to here. And this can come out as far as we can go. Like that. Fairview Grove. That's not a bad name. And I think we'll extend Bayview Village out here too. There. So now we've got some suburbs out this way. And the, I'm gonna go ahead and put the roads in here now. So that is a pretty nice little subdivision, I think. So we're going to go ahead and get our zoning in here. I don't want it on the side of the road that's going to have the oil. So I'm just going ahead and getting these in like so. And then we'll come back and do the filler. Just fill those all out the rest of the way. Okay, that should be good. And then once that unemployment gets up higher, we'll get oil in here. And it's going to be interesting to have the oil so close because if you go over here, this is oil here. And then you can see there is pollution 
coming off of that. So we're going to have pollution coming. Oh, now this is interesting. I hadn't realized that the wind turns. Is it like over here, the wind is blowing in that direction. But here it's going there. And over here, it's blowing out of our area. So that is really great. Although we do have space. No, this is the edge of the map here. So that's perfect. It's going to go right off of the edge of our map. That's not going to be bad at all. And then again, they have got the train terminal terminal there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this road wider to get those trucks right down to the train terminal. And then we need to turn here. Perhaps this one could go farther too. I mean, at least that far. Be nice if we could get it all the way through, but I don't think we will. I think we'll probably end up with this one being an arterial as well, because then that can go down there and connect there. Yeah, this is going to be like this, and I meant that to be on the other way. So we're going to get this back to the two lane, and then we'll upgrade it on that side. Which means right down at the center of our oil area, we probably want to have a bit of a uh, commercial thing too. I think that'll be fine. We'll get a little bit of commercial in there. Here, this one has now turned into a company with not enough customers, but that will change. We do have an issue here. Let's go ahead and turn off traffic lights there. Lots of taxis, people are moving in. And the other thing we need to do is we need to get the traffic lights off elsewhere too, because anytime you build the four lane road, it automatically will put traffic lights in at any of your intersections. And we really don't need them in these spots. That should be fine there. Okay, so that, no, here, we made this a four lane. Go ahead and take that out and that out and that out. This one needs to remain. So we've got a lot going on there. Like that could be a, a pretty busy spot. But anyway, so that kind of opens up the traffic over here. We still have a jam of all those taxis coming in to deliver people moving in. But that's off to a good start. We'll get more people over there. Yeah, unemployment is doing great. I'm very happy with this. But let's go ahead and get some more subdivision in here. Okay, now we've got roads in there. We're going to go ahead and get commercial in here because like I said, we we're getting some along this area here and then we can go ahead and I'm just going to do this whole area. Although this is an arterial here too. So we probably should actually come in here and get a little bit more low density here of commercial. Might see some gas stations there or something like that. And then let's go ahead and fill all along there with the same thing. Okay, residential, the rest of this. And we probably should add some other stuff. Like we didn't get a school down here for Fairview Grove yet. I think what we'll do is we'll get the school over here. Although pollution, yeah, I think. I guess we'll get a school in here. Elementary school, we'll get that here. Although, no, I want that off of the main road. So we're gonna bring a road in straight here, just for a little bit, and then we'll get a school off of that. Go ahead and give it a playground here. And that should be good. And I don't think we have a high school in Bayview Village. Let's check that. No, we don't. So we're going to put a high school in right in here. And same thing. I want a one way coming in here. You know, like this and go all the way to. Well, let's go like that. And then we'll bring the one. Actually, that can be a two way here. And you know what? That could be a two-way too. We don't need a one-way. And then we can get the school off of this road. And I want that to go here. And then we'll get the whole 
gamut of stuff here. Extension wing. Pretty big school. Nice big football field back there. And then we'll bring in a road over here. And hopefully we can get a parking lot in there too. Yep. Two medium parking lots there. And let's go ahead and get a large parking lot over here. And this is going to operate for Bayview Village. We'll call this Bayview High School. And I did not mean to click on Fairview Grove there. Okay. Yeah, that should be pretty good for that. And then at some point we'll get a, a high school out here too. But Bayview has a fire. I'm checking fire and other services now. Yeah, they have a fire department. Not great coverage over there but they also have a police department. Okay, so Fairview Grove needs some of that real quick, and I really don't want to put it right down in the heart there. I think we'll get some of that. We'll get more of that over here, I guess. Bring this road out this way. And that's going to do the same thing. It's kind of be right along this contour line. And then we can get a little bit of like a city center over here. I mean, not quite the city center, but I think you know what I mean of, you know, a little bit of a town here. Yeah, it looks a little wonky there. I'm going to fix that real quick. And that is interesting. I don't think I want that, but it's interesting that the game tried to do it. Sometimes I'm really impressed with the tools that or like the way the game does some of this stuff. We're going to bring the road down like that just to give us a little bit more space for that curve. There we go. I like that more. Now we've got some space. We can come in here. We can get fire and rescue. We can get a small police station in here. And we probably should get a medical clinic out here, too. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put that over here, though. Maybe even on this side. So that pretty much provides services out here. And in fact, I'm going to go in and tell all of these um, services in Fairview and over in Bayview to only serve these districts. Okay, I really like how this is filling out and how we're getting a little bit more stuff in here. We've got space for more commercial, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in real quick. Just a little bit of shops back in here. Again, just to give a little bit of a nice feel to that. And over here, we want to extend this road one more time along here. And it, again, it's going to be kind of like a loop here. I mean, definitely a loop. You can see it rings around that little hill, but now we can build another subdivision in here and in here because we did not put any specialized forestry over in here. So I think we'll go ahead and get residential in there and we're just getting a really nice sprawl out here. We'll reserve this area for more livestock farms. And I think that'll be like a really great look out here and really filling this area in. But anyway, I'm going to get the roads in these two spots next. In the middle of building that, I remember that we don't have a high school for um, whatever this is called. Fairview? Is that what it is right now? Fairview, yeah. And yeah, I've already called, not that one, but I called the police department and stuff Fairview. So I guess we're going to go with this. We're going to take out Fairview Grove. Oh, no, we'll keep Fairview Grove. So, if you already made a name suggestion, I'm sorry, I've already uh, gone and named it. So, it is what it is. You get to not have the uh, naming rights to that spot. But anyway, we're coming in, and now that we've got the high school in, I can fill the rest of this. Although, I need to get parking for this high school don't want it on that side. I should have gotten some in here. Oh, we can fit some right in here. If I take off snapping especially. 
Yeah, we can get this like right over in here. Can't quite fit another one. Oh, we can. Yeah, not the greatest. And this one is just a little too far away. Get it a little bit closer. That should get it its coverage and that should be good. Can't fit one in there, but we can. We'll go ahead and put a big one over in here. The students have to walk a little bit of a ways to get there, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Okay, so then the roads for the rest of this, we can get in here too. All right, now we're at a point where I feel pretty good about adding our zoning in here, of course, and we can go ahead and just do a pretty big blanket in here. Although I don't want it right at the high school, so we're going to take that back out. I do want it across from the high school or even back over here. Yeah, on this side of the parking lot should be fine, but that is the, the property of the high school, I think. So we're going to leave that off. And now I've added more over in here. We can just go ahead and once again do a whole blanket zoning through here. And then the same thing up here. I don't quite want it by the high school, so we're going to just go ahead and do that, and then we can come in and take these back out really quick there we go so that should be good really fill in this whole area and get a nice level of sprawl out here okay and now even though we haven't quite gotten the unemployment up to where I'd really like to see it before doing the oil I want to go ahead and get this in here because I really think it's going to fill out this area nicely so we're going to go ahead and just bring a road out this way, which will be the feeder for that part of the oil industry. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get one over here. And in fact, I think I'm going to bring one. Uh, no, we're going to leave that. Bring one more out in that way. So we've got quite a few spots that we can get feeders that we get industries out here. We'll get one more in there. So hopefully we've got enough space here that I can come in here. I'm going to do oil drilling. These are not nearly as big as I'd like them to be, but it's okay. We're going to fill this in really well. Okay, so we got several in here, and then I put a little bit of industry here. Prob it will probably end up being oil-related, I would hope. But we also unlocked, and this is pretty big, the... Uh, vehicle factory which is going to be a really big factory that we can get in somewhere i don't know that it will make sense to do it around here i think it'll make more sense that maybe it will be a, a centerpiece industry of the town that we are planning out here and at some point we're going to need to get a plan for where the industry will go and maybe it'll be out in here because we've got rail we could get a ship over here which we do have yeah ship path pretty good there so that'll be a pretty good spot for a city you can see we've still got a ton of traffic going into the downtown in here a lot of that is coming off of the highway here on the bridge which is you know what what we expect we're a pretty big city we've got a lot of people trying to come in to go to work here and but we are seeing a lot on that uh, subway line we've got 485 which is only 11 percent usage so at some point we may need to consider how we can get even better public transit uh connecting to the downtown here because we probably have a lot of people over here that are just driving in from over here but they we might see a shift as we get more jobs out here i mean there's plenty of jobs here and now at the oil industry and we'll probably get some commercial or, or something, you know, along here. Not quite sure what we'll end up with, but we're going to get air pollution going out that way, as we have discussed. But I'm pretty happy with where we're at for now. So we're going to take a break and uh, be sure to click on the video on the screen. It will take you to the next episode in the series. And if that's not out yet, then it will take you to another awesome video that I guarantee you will enjoy. So thanks for watching today, and I will catch you next time. Take care.